Hi again, this is John. In my last video, I showed how it was possible to create a collage in Photoshop Elements 2019 um, and place photos manually onto a predetermined and sized canvas. I'm now going to show you the new auto layouts in Photoshop Elements 2019 and how we can manipulate those to get the size that we require. So I'm going to start off in the organizer, which is already open, by selecting three hiking photos and then going top right to the Create menu and just simply click on Photo Collage. And Elements will start to do its magic, magic and start to configure the auto creation for us. And there we have quite a good um, starting point. I'll just click on the hand tool to remove all the move outlines. We have a good starting point here and we can of course change any of the templates on the right and it will automatically update. What I'm going to do here now is just save this straight away as a PSD document. So from the menu use File, Save As and I'm going to change from Project to PSD. And Give it a new file name, Hiking Collage, and save it. And then I'm going to save this as a PSE file, which is a project file, and I'll, I'll call it Hiking Collage Project, just to distinguish it, and save. And I can now close this down. I'm now going to reopen the PSD file by going to Open Recently Edited File. And there's the PSD. And we can see straight away now in the Layers palette that um, Elements has automatically created the placeholders or masks and the um, photos that are clipped to them. And each one is in a group. We can actually close up the groups. If we had lots of photos, it may make it easier to close and open the groups as required. And you can right click on them and rename them if necessary. So I mean we could uh, rename this um, top left and um, top right and bottom photo. I'm going to open them all again so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm now going to go to the resize menu which is under image. Image. I'm going to choose resize canvas size. And I want to make this width 10 inches and the height 8 inches which will make a nice print size for a collage and I'm going to just click OK and you can see straight away that um, we've extended the canvas and Elements has created some transparent pixels. You can actually see that on the background layer if I click it. The uh, transparent pixels are quite apparent around the original size and we can see bottom left here that we now have our document which is 10 by 8 and 300 pixels resolution for high quality printing. I'm going to keep this background layer selected because I'm going to add a fill layer because I want it to be completely white. So I'm going to go to layer, new fill layer, solid color and click OK and you can see that it's put in the foreground colour here and we can easily click on the white um, chip or square to, to change it and simply click OK. And I'm going to press Control 0 to actually bring it back into the editor interface. You can click on fit to screen if you prefer using the using the zoom tool. Whatever is easier for you. I like using keyboard shortcuts. Now I'm going to show you how, how you can start manipulating this and I'm going to click on the mask relating to the top left photo and select the move tool. And if I drag out this you can see that I actually drag out the mask which is like a placeholder and um, I can position it something like, like that and click the green check mark to apply. And then I'm going to choose the photo which is clipped to that mask which is the layer above it you can actually see it's positioned on the um, on the thumbnail there and again we can use the um, 
the side handles or the corner handles to drag this. I'm going to hold down the shift key which keeps it in proportion when dragging otherwise you could end up with some kind of um, distortion and drag it right across the mask you can make it larger or make it fit the mask more or less exactly click OK when you're done click away by clicking on the hand and that's our first photograph in position I'm going to do the same now with the mask for the, um, the next photo and use the move tool again I'm going to just drag out the um, the mask and position it sort of in line with the existing photo. Leave a little bit of a gap between the two as it is a collage. Click the check mark. Go to the photo layer and again holding down the shift key I'm going to resize the to fit the mask. And there we have that one done also. Clicking on the hand tool just gets rid of all the outlines and um, we can see more clearly what we've done. Um, I'm then going to go to this bottom mask and do the same again. This time I'm going to drag it right across and down. Something like that. And then I'm going to go and click on the photo relating to that clipped mask and do the same again with the move tool and enlarge this photo to to fit the placeholder. You can see you can drag it quite large and it will only show what is visible through the mask. Okay that will do clicking on the hand tool and you can see I've made quite a nice collage. I may go back to this um, top left photo and just resize the mask again because it would look better if it was a similar size to the photo to the right. So we'll just drag up there and make it like that. And there we are, we're done with our collage. We started off in the auto creations which means we can take full advantage of those layouts and then we can resize it into an 8 times 10 document. So having gone a long way round this, um, very much to give you the theory behind the layers and the clipping masks and the photos, I'm going to show you a quick way to achieve the same thing and that is to click on the individual groups. So clicking on this group here to highlight it and using the move tool we can simply move the whole cell and the photo together. I'm going to do this quite quickly. I'm not going to take a long time to um, make it fancy. Again move the whole photo and the mask together and simply resize to how you want it and click the green check mark. Click on the final group and again arrange it by just moving the whole group together and voila we have a new collage ready to save and we can save a JPEG from the PSD file quite easy if we want to send it to a print lab and um, I hope you like this thanks for watching bye for now